Okay, I think we are about ready. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, why is it not on screen? But it, it's working. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I just realized something. I should be able to go under here. Alright. So, laptop's good. Do I have the volume down on this thing? I do not. And phone's ready to go. Alright. So, we are playing Link to the Past because I only have so much time to form a break. And Link to the Past is not that long of a game. However, normally with Zelda games I do randomizers, but then I found out retro achievements, and that changes a lot of things. I probably would have done those with, with the first two Zelda games. Still probably would still do a randomizer. We may still do a randomizer with this, but we're going to do retro achievements. Uh, I got to link this to the right page. There we go. So, there is currently 109 achievements, with 35 of them being missable. So, if you were to try to do this all in one run, there's one achievement you have to keep in mind, and I show only missables. Well, there's a few, but here's the big one. Defeat the final boss with the silver arrow, reach the Triforce, but don't have any bottles at all. So this may be a 100% run, but we're going to have to like do some things out of order. Also, we're going to have to go save Zelda before we save any of the other maidens. So we're going to do this in a weird order, basically. And some of these achievements are basically... Uh, I would say, like, no hit runs for bosses. Let's see. Uh, that's the mo That's the best we can do. Alright. Help me. Please help me. I am a prisoner in the dungeon of the castle. My name is Zelda. The wizard Aghanim has done something to the other missing girls. Now only I remain. Aghanim has seized control of the castle and is now trying to open the seven wise men's seal. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. Please help me. Oh, no, wait. Seriously. Uh, that will work. There we go. Scott. Scott, I'm going out for a while. I'll be back in the morning. Don't leave the house. And what shall we do? We shall leave the house. I don't care to listen to what you say, Uncle. I'm getting this lamp. We got our first achievement, taking the lamp, and I can't move diagonal. That's... Uh, needs to be fixed. Right, down right, no, down right, down left. There we go, I'm like, SNES can do diagonal movements. There we go, fix that. <coughs> All right, so if I'm correct, I'm kind of looking through, we are not going to be missing anything for this opening section, so we just need to play the game I can only for until we save Zelda, I think. If I'm gonna try to get all the achievements in one, like, full run, I do have to do one, basically, reset to get one achievement and then reset, so that way you don't have to lose the, all your progress. I'm in the dungeon of the castle. I know there is a hidden path from outside the castle to the garden inside. Oh, Scott. I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. If you focus your power in the blade, hold the B button. Then release it to, uh, using the secret technique handed down by our people. Scott. Save the princess. Zelda is your... 
I, I don't know what he was trying to get at with Zelda being my what, but let's go get Zelda out of here. And uh, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, some of these achievements are basically just get every chest in the dungeon. Playing Twilight Princess on my own time, I, I'm seeing some like repeat uh, concepts, I should say. There are gonna be uh, a lot of the boss fights that I saw. Well, all of them are basically do no hit runs for one of the achievements, but they usually give you like some other challenge as well. Like, like oh, beat this boss with only this weapon, sort of thing, instead of using the sword. So. We'll try to do our best. Alright, let's go find the Zelda. So yeah, we're gonna play through Link to the Past. Try to get this all the way through. Uh, if there's enough time after we are done, we may just immediately jump to a randomizer just to have some fun with that and you know we'll go from there because I'll be going on my break here soon but I don't want to start anything to just have it interrupted so we'll see we also just gotta see how long it's gonna take me to beat the past We should be able to get all the treasure chests. It's not missable. You can go back into the castle. Huh? What's that? Nope. 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 Another heart? Nope. No extra hearts. There we go. L and R don't do anything. I'm trying to think what they do eventually. Uh, there we go. Uh, we want. We just want to go up here. I was gonna say, I could use another heart soon. Get another key, open another chest. We got the boomerang. There we go. Thought you could just press B, but no, you gotta press start again. Okay. Down the stairs. No, Link to the Past is a good game. Uh, I think I, I, I think I put this game up there as. Maybe not top three, but maybe top five? Although, uh, I think I like Link Between Worlds more than this. Okay, yeah, get out of here. Give me the key. Give me the big key. Thank you, Scott. I had a feeling you were getting close. Scott, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? No. This, oh, same thing. Repeat! Do you understand? Yes. Alright, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path. But first, we have to go through the first floor. Let's go! Get more rupees. But yeah, there's going to be a single uh, achievement that we're going to have to basically 
uh, get it and then reset. Because it'll invalidate the bottle. Uh, Beganons with no beganon with no bottles, basically. So basically, we're gonna have to get a bottle, do whatever this, uh, the achievement wants us to do, and then reset. It's one of those missable ones because after a certain point, you can't do it again. Again, that's as if you want to get it done in one single playthrough without having to just start over. And that's what I glanced through. Such a better game than the NES ones. The, f the sword swing is so much better. You can tell what the bomb, uh, the bombable spots are. Like this game is so much better than NES Zelda. Took what was good, and then it was good. Probably check the outside very quick. Probably a good idea. Come on, nope, nope, nope. You get smacked diagonally. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Treasure on the roof. I actually don't know if this is considered Hyrule Castle or like inside the dungeon or not, so maybe not. And you know what? Maybe some of it is actually in there, so it doesn't count. You might not be able to get all the treasure until later. Yeah, let's see anything. Let's go back to the center area. There's a secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I'm sure the old man there will help us. To the throne room. What's interesting is in the intro, there's a skeleton on the throne of the, of the king who's dead. So, I found it weird that it's only in the intro that he's there. I always thought, like, he should just be sitting there. The ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside of there. And you can't see without one. You're ready. Let's go. Push it from the left. Now, if only there was a way to close it behind you, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta get my magic back. Because uh, using the lamp requ requires magic somehow. I don't know why ma uh, the lamp requires magic. <laughs> that actually doesn't make any sense. Unless it's supposed to be like a weird replacement for oil. Uh, we don't need to light the candle. Or the lamp, whatever. Uh, oh wait, maybe we have to come back here later with bombs to get all the treasure. I think there's like a bumble spot. Key. On the left side we get another lamp. Okay. 
simple. After passing through these sewers, we'll be very close to the sanctuary. Let's be careful. Pick this up. At least she doesn't get scared by rats or anything. <laughs> Why am I fighting them? Let's just move on. Okay. Chuck a pot at him. Is there another lamp somewhere? There we go. Okay, it doesn't really seem like there's anything in here. Yeah, we're good. Grab that key. Pick that up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bomb roll. Bomb wall. Gonna have to come back. I knew there was a spot that was like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back. Run into my sword. Kill all the rats. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Which one? You have to pull the lever to open the door. Press. Press the A button to hold down on uh, to hold down on the control pad. There we go. Got the right one. I think the left one just summons more rats. Princess Zelda, are you safe? Is this your doing, Scott? Yes, it was Scott who helped me escape the dungeon when I was captive by the uh, the wizard said I have what I have once I have finished with you the final one the seal of the wise men will open Scott you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches if he releases the seal of the seven wise men evil power will overwhelm the land before that happens before it's too late destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule you can do it! You can. I sense, that, I sense that a mighty evil forces, uh, force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary Master Sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the Seven Wise Men. Maybe he can tell you more. I'll mark his house on your map. But watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers will be looking for you now. Oh, hi, Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the elder. Alright. Open the... Open the treasure. Heart container. Oh, is this, a, this isn't a three-heart run. I didn't see any achievements that required, like... You know, a three heart. Run. All right, time to explore. There's a lot to see. Uh, we do want to go to the village. That's our first goal. Man, where to start? This game is really open. Oh wait, I, I think I went one screen. I need to go a little bit, a left a little bit more. There we go. Not far enough. Uh, this way, Kakariko Village. What was? What was this? Uh, you have. Can I tell your fortune? No, I think it's just if you're lost. If you're lost, you know, go to the fortune teller. Alright. Uh, wanted! 
This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Oh no, I'm I'm a wanted man. Let me uh Oh, is that you, Scott? What can I do for you, young man? The elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard's been collecting victims. What Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but long ago a, pr a prosperous people known as the Hylia the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of the one of them. People say that now it's it's sleeping deep in the forest. Do you understand the legend? Yes. Anyway, look for the elder. He must be somewhere in the village. There must be someone in the village that knows where he is. Let me take care now. I mean, I know where he is, but we got stuff to explore and find out. I. Uh, I need to go in here. Let's see. Yo, Scott! This house used to be a hideout for a gang of thieves. What was their leader's name? Oh yeah, his name was Blind. And he hated be uh he hated bright light a lot. Good to know. What happened to the thieves? So we got rupees uh then i want to go here oh, no i did that wrong i did that wrong was that a bombable spot or is that just uh hold on hold on i'll come back in here in a second uh we want to save this section for later Sir, have you going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? Um, sale for a hundred rupees. Don't need it. We gotta avoid getting bottles. Oh, is the guy with the Pegasus boots must come later. I'm trying to remember where all those bottles are so I don't, like, pick any of them up. Yeah, I know there's that one. I think there's one underneath the bridge. I just got sorry about my yard. So it's, it's a little overgrown. Thanks for visiting. I'm glad to have company to talk to. I'll tell you an interesting story. Uh, there was a lake swimming with Zor swimming with Zoras at the source of the river. That's hard to find. The treasure of the Zora can turn people into fish. <laughs> Love to see that. I wouldn't mind being able to turn into a fish, I guess. What's in here? Uh, my son really liked to play the fruit. But he went to look for golden power and has not returned. I wonder where he is and what he's doing now. Oh, I saw her. A very nice young lady at the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river began. You should meet her at least once. I'm sure you will, you will like her. Oh, if we go around back, there's a chest. Okay. We'll grab that. Oh. Yeah. This way. Down in here. Just what I was saying about uh, not getting bottles. Uh, <laughs> we can't have that. We have to do the whole thing over again. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> I should have saved immediately after. That's annoying. I'm, I thought the only bottle was the one you had to buy there. No, there's one in that chest. Dang it. I thought, mm, I thought it was safe. Okay, I gotta do this again. I said something about having to only do one playthrough. We basically just started over right now. That's annoying. Well... 
I already know I can't get all the treasure in the castle until we come back. Okay, so how do you save? There we go. Save and quit. So if I press select, I'll make sure to do that after we save Zelda. That way we don't have to do this again. That's not annoying at all. Again, you, we have to begin and without getting a single bottle. Man, I really wish I had dash boots. Still need the boots. through this. Oh, you can't walk that dumb. And you saw me? How'd you see me? Well, too bad for you. You suck at aiming. Okay, time to go through this again. Once we, once we save Zelda, I'll make sure to do the whole save and quit that way if I mess up and get an extra bottle you can just reset oh yeah I forgot about that one I know there's four bottles we could buy one at the for 100 rupees I thought that was the only one yes there's one in the back of the like the bar Yeah, I guess there's one in the back of the bar. Uh, I know there's one underneath the bridge. And I think the final one is there's a mute man. And you have to bring a treasure chest that follows you around to him. And he opens it. I think that's correct. That might be where all four bo bottles are. So now I just need to remember to ignore the chest in the bar. We should be good. Oh, that went through. Yeah, let's do this. I'll try to speed up. Boomerang! Not needed right now. That. Let's go right up here, open the door. Go down the stairs. Hi, right, Molly, you're being weird. Yeah, you are. Uh huh. Yes, you are. You're being a little weird. Eat your bone. Eat your bone. I don't care about the review right now. Get about two hits in. Back up. Yeah, yeah, opens opens the big locks. Yes, you saved me, thank you. Stop bagging him. He has magical powers. Alright. We got Zelda, let's get out of here. There are four chests in the underground. Uh, we're I think the bottles are the only thing we can't collect until we begin. I mean, we will need one, though. Again, we will need one bottle for one achievement, but again, I need other things first before I can complete it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I thought we could get the Pegasus Boots now, but I think we have to beat the first dungeon. I was hoping to get those if it would let me move faster. Okay, I gotta explore around and see everything we can get that would help me out for the, for the dungeon. Most 
most of the treasures that we can get right now. So let's take the secret passage. Again. Well, at least we got the achievement for getting a bottle on it, right? Now, take this shortcut to the sanctuary. So is this a pathway that only the royal family know about? Actually, if they're possessed by Aghanim, even if the guards knew about the secret passage, Aghanim probably doesn't know about this. Magic to use your lamp. At least the lamp itself doesn't like run out or anything. Like you still get your light. This chest. Door. Is that the only chest or was there one more? Jeez, I went- I just went through this. You think I would have- but I, did, I don't have a key. I didn't grab a key in the last room. Nope. There we go. The rat had it. Jeez, again, you think I would have just remembered this from 20, like, 10 minutes ago. And then again, in my mind, I'm thinking, I wouldn't need to remember this. I'm not going to have to run through all this again. Why would I? Yeah, go through the text. You got to save all Hyrule before the, the wizard finds me again. Go get the Master Sword. Talk to the old man in the village who's not there. I understand. Full heart container. Okay. Save and quit. Now we don't need to do that dungeon again. Uh, sure. It doesn't matter where we start. Okay. Where do I want to go? I think we'll still head to Kakariko. There's still things I could get there. Or, you know, I die soon. That works too. Yeah, I don't exactly remember everything I can get. But we need to get what we can. <laughs> Man, I'm already almost dead. Uh, we can't do anything about that. We need bombs, which I don't have. In here was... 20 rupees, I'll let you open the chest. You can keep what's inside. Sure. We get one rupee. Great. I think that's for a heart container. Uh, I think we can't do this yet. Yeah, we have to come back later. Yeah, 
that that's why they don't let you get the Pegasus boots this early. Because that's needed to get into the second dungeon. Alright, so let's not go into the bar. Can I, like... Can I please get, like, a heart or something? No? None of the bushes are gonna drop? Okay, fine. Be that way. Anything in here? Oh, wow! I can buy a single heart for 10 rupees that I don't have. So useful. Come on! Get angry! Why aren't you angry? How are you not angry with me? I'm just gonna keep doing this until you get angry. You should be angry with me. I don't know how you're not. Oh no! Oh god! There we go. We stopped it. That's an achievement. There was a guy hidden in the bushes. Yeah, we can save to continue. That's fine. We'll start at the sanctuary. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Some guy was just hidden in the, hidden in the bushes, just waiting for me to just walk over him. Now, that was a plan. That was indeed a strategy that he came up with. I don't know if it was a good one. Okay, now we're back at Kakariko. Uh, we can go in there. Actually, can we do this now? Or am I... Or do we need something else? Oh no, we can do this now. We got some bombs. There we go. Perfect. Some rupees. So we can go back into the sanctuary and go grab a few chests. I don't know if we would need anything else. I thought that was a heart container in there, but I might be confusing with a uh, link to link between worlds, honestly. Maybe, uh, well, you know what? I could also be confusing it with uh, Dark World. Wait, no, I don't think there is anything in Dark World. Whatever. What else do we got? Walks in. Oh, that's the... Th that's the running boots guy. Another guy with uh, another chicken in a barrel. Or in a pot. That makes sense. He runs away. How were you supposed to catch him? We have to do it. Hey, brother. Do you have a bottle to keep a bug in? Let's see, you don't have one. Wait, is that how we're supposed to get a bug net? Do we need a bottle to get the bug net? Yeah, okay. How do you catch him? I forgot. Because we get arrows. We get, a, we get a bow in the first dungeon. There's n I feel... You know what? It's probably something that I'm just... Probably can't do at the moment. One second. Again, it might be, it might be something that can't be done right now. Probably just can't be now. You think Boomerang would work, but no. And he just gets away. Uh, what do you say? Uh, rumors you can have the princess, but I still trust you. Thank you, old lady. Don't need to go in there. 
nothing else was helpful. We don't need to buy the bottle. I guess we'll go and... Go in here. Let's open all the chests. I can only move these things once. Then I have to move this down. Once you move it once, that's it. Yeah, I can't get that. Yeah, once you move it once... It's all. Let's do that. If I push that down, that's... some more rupees. Heart, uh, heart, piece of heart. There we go. Want to get as many of those as possible. Oh, wait. We want... No, I messed this up. Oh, well, I could get this. Rupees. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Right here? More rupees. All of it is rupees. Then you need bombs for the... Okay. So, other than the bug net, which... If I need the bug net... Do I need the bottle for the bug net? Is that something I need? Or is there another way to get... Uh... One second. Because I, I played this game before, but I'm trying to remember... And I'm also maybe getting things confused with, uh... We need a bottle, don't we? To get, we need to get a bottle to get the bug net. So that can be done later. So that means no bug net when we go to Ganon. Interesting decision. Okay. Uh, there's nothing we could do around here. I think we've done everything we can. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I think we'll just head towards the dungeon. I don't think there's anything else I can do. We could go to the sanctuary. That's the other option. Oh, this is probably what I'm thinking of where we can't do it now. Okay. Uh, my lost if my lost partner returns, we could temper your sword, but now I can't do anything for you. Yeah. We don't know where the other guy went. This is a dead end. And it's pointless to go in here? Yeah, it's pointless. Again, I don't think we could catch the, the guy with the Pegasus boots. I think that's something we can only get later. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to check. Because I, I would like to move faster. That is something I wouldn't mind being able to do. Uh, just not right now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and go to the first dungeon. You know what? Maybe that guy... Maybe, I might be getting some things confused with Link Between Worlds. We're just gonna continue. I was thinking of just saving and quitting and then just starting back at my house. But nah, I should explore around. Wait, 
I think we want to go into the forest. There's so much we could probably do. Unless it happens later, but I'm not sure. Don't want to attack you. You're electrical, I guess. You decided. Yeah, you two are just gonna chop the uh, chop the tree for all eternity. Okay, we want to go in the woods. Because if I am correct. Let you open one chest to keep the post inside. No, thanks. I'm gonna escape. I think I want to save my rupees for a little bit later. Hey, look, it's the Master Sword! Nah, uh, it's, it's fake. Man, even Link to the Past, like, there's a bunch of replica Master Swords out and about. Gee, which ma Master Sword is the real one? What's down here? Uh, this is a secret hideout for Game of Thieves. Don't enter but without permission. By the way, I heard that one of our ex-members is staying, is staying at the entrance to the desert. Heart container. Or heart piece. The reason why I'm trying to go in here right now is I think we could get a mushroom. And if that's true, we should be able to get the magic powder. Oh no, bot's telling me to buy bot viewers. No thanks. Another heart piece. Okay. Down here is an exit. That's not what we want. Just trying to steal something from me? No thanks, not gonna happen. Yeah, I thought you could get mushrooms right now. Again, I might be thinking of, like, later. I might be thinking of later. Oh, no. Here's a mushroom. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, that's what I came here for. Now we can leave. I don't think there's anything else I would want here. Yeah, all, every, I think everything else here is just thieves. I could I could do the treasure chest mini game. I forget what I get from that. Maybe a heart piece. I don't know. Who hides bombs in bushes? Who does that? Okay, back in Kakariko. All right, time to head back. Not gonna buy a bottle. Not gonna grab the other bottle. Guess we're not getting the bug net either. That's uh, that's an interesting choice. We'll take this path. Do I need rupees for anything? I also forget how much I can hold right now. Okay, there's nothing for us up there at the moment. Not without the shovel. Which I forget when we get that. Uh, come on. Taking so much damage. Get out of my way. There we go. Alright, let's head down here. What do we got? Bombable wall. We'll take it. Let's try to get what we can. Okay, just a full heal. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Maybe I should have used some of my rupees to buy them. We'll find them. We'll find them. It's not a big deal. Can't do anything about 
this just yet. Can't swim. Going down here. I want to take this path. Go this way. And here is the mute man. Pay no attention to the average middle-aged man standing by the sign. Leave him alone. Why did you take my sign? It says plain as day to just leave me alone. Sheesh. There we go. A cure for madness. For a cure for muteness. There we go. That was an achievement. That is a missable one. That is a missable achievement. Uh... Yes, we'll do this now. Go in here. First we grab more bombs. That's useful. Now we need to uh, leave and come back in. Open this up. And pull this switch. Drain the water. something we can do right now. First, grab a piece of heart. Super Nintendo version, yeah, hot uh, juice. We're also playing with retro achievements as well. But how's it going, juice? Been a little while. Let's throw, let's, let's save this fish. Take some rupees, but don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? Well, we saved a fish. There we go. Uh. Well, what's going on your end, Juice? Oh, wow, the water's already back to normal. Let's drain it again. So, yeah, we're playing with retro achievements. And looking through the list, uh, the big one that's missable right now is we gotta beat Ganon, the final boss, but we cannot have any bottles. So we gotta be careful on getting bottles. I actually had to reset because I accidentally grabbed a bottle. <laughs> uh, grab the fish. No, I failed. I failed to grab the fish. I gotta drain this again. Last time I was working, I've been watching Bonnie and Luigi. Yeah, I just finished that yesterday. Just busy with work. Look up retro achievement you want to see too. Yeah, uh, there's actually a decent amount of missiles. But when I was glancing through them, there was like one achievement where you you could get everything in one run, but there's one achievement to where you kinda need to reset your save. Like get the achievement and then reset it. Reset your save to be able to do everything else. But yeah, the beating the Ganon. Beating Ganon without uh, any bottles. That's gonna. It's gonna be interesting. Nope, the bottles, from what I understand, can't even be empty, as far as I understand. You can't even have them. It's a little silly, but I guess so you can't just be tempted? Yeah, some achievements can be silly like that. Yes, follow me if you dare. Don't worry, there's a reason I'm taking this fish. Don't worry, I have plans for this fish. I had to save one fish for an achievement. But yeah, I accidentally picked up a bottle because I didn't know that's where it was. It was in the treasure chest in the back of the bar. I didn't know that I had a bottle, so I had to reset. Make a man in base without using an E-tank, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much what it is, more or less. Uh, do you uh, do you need me to post a link or are you, for the achievements there, or are you good? Because I could do that. Yeah, you know what, I might just do that anyway. Oh, I can't really do that this way. 
I got things in weird orders. Just wonder how I plan to do limited magic for the second to last dungeon, Turtle Cave 1. And the tur Turtle Rock is gonna be weird. Hey, they say eating fish makes you smart. You have to give me this fish for this stuff, okay? Done? We get a, we sold a fish and got a bunch of stuff for it. Used to hold balls to hold extra magic and stuff, right. But, oh, there's another thing that's gonna be interesting with this run. If you look near the end, you know what, I'm going to, uh, here, I'm gonna post a link just in case. Uh, however, uh, to, uh, one of the final achievements is we need to basically save Zelda first at Turtle Rock. When we get to the Dark World, Zelda needs to be the first maiden we save. Which basically means... Nah, it's all good. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it basically means we need to go to every other, other dungeon first, ransack those dungeons for items, and then just leave them unfinished and come back later. So that way we could go to Turtle Rock with all the items we need just to save Zelda first. Apparently... There's unique dialogue for saving her first. And I guess that's why the achievement exists. Come on. Get out of here. Yeah, I didn't know there was dialogue for saving Zelda first in the second half. That's kind of why I like the idea of some of these achievements. Like, it, it may seem weird and out of the way, but it's really there to show you, like, a secret that's actually in the game sometimes. Like, if there was not any exclusive dialogue for Saving Zelda first, it would just be considered just a weird challenge. But if, it, if that is the case that there actually is dialogue, then that's just showing off a secret. I find that cool. But yeah, we, uh, but because I cannot get a bottle right now, it means I cannot, uh, oops. <laughs> Since I can't get a bottle right now, I actually can't get the bug net. Uh, we'll start from here. Which, it, it's a weird thing. I mean, the sick boy's like, oh, you got a bottle, you can catch bugs. Which, we may just take care of the achievement tied to it here in a second. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, the Chris Hulhan room. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that, but at least that one can be done at any time. Oh, uh, I didn't want to go this way. That's to the actual dungeon. But yeah, I have not played the GBA version of this, but I do know it has a bunch of, you know, Wind Waker Link sound effects. So, swinging the sword gets very annoying. shop. And Four Swords was free on 3DS. And was... Yeah, I do have the Four Swords anniversary thing. If you want to buy a potion, you should bring a bottle and put it in. Well, that was a free heal. The Four Swords game that was on the Link to the Past GBA version. Yeah. yeah. I smell rotten fruit. If you give me that mushroom, I can finish my brew. That's why I went to grab this. Ah, uh, thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. I have to go left. Yeah, I wanted to grab this first. And then we can go and head and do this. If you want to buy a potion, you bring a ball. But we get the magic powder. 
All right. Let's go ahead and take care of the one achievement that basically we need to reset after getting it, based on what I was reading. What would be faster? I think Sanctuary is faster. Can't remember if Wind Waker allowed you to play Four Swords too. No, it didn't. Wind Waker doesn't have Four Swords. Uh, there is a separate game for the GameCube called Four Swords Adventure. And that's one of those games where, kind of like Crystal Chronicles, to play... Oh, you meant Minish Cap. I don't think it does. I don't think Minish Cap lets you play uh, Four Swords. But kind of like uh, Crystal Chronicles, Four Swords Adventures, if you want to play multiplayer, you need other Game Boy Advances and other... Uh, uh, you need other Game Boy Advances and other GBA link cables to the GameCube just to do that. I have never played that one. Okay, grab the bottle. Uh, hold on. Get that going. So I'm taking care of this right now. Which one's the sick kid? This one. Can't go out because I'm sick. It's bug catching you now. Whoa. Okay, we got the bug net. Uh, hold on. Uh, GameCube was so much fun. I mean, I couldn't play the little game with cables. I always wanted to try Four Swords, like make a connection where five GameCubes linked together. Oh, right, you can do that. With four of the GameCubes with the GBA players. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, yeah, I have, out of my group of friends, I am the only one with the Game Boy player, so. Like, even if I wanted to try something like that with either Four Swords Adventures or Crystal Chronicles. Uh, can't do that. But yeah, the the whole big connection with the Game Boy players, that sounds like it would be so fun. But a big hassle to get set up. It's too bad out of my group of friends, I'm the only one with a Game Boy player. But anyway, so for this achievement, we got the magic powder, we have a bottle, and we got the bug net. Which, to get the bug net, you have to have a bottle. So, I think we turn you into a fairy. And I've messed that up. We turn you into a fairy. Swap to the bug net. Capture you. Keep in a bottle. And we take Granny along for the rest of the journey. That's the, that's the achievement. That's the one where we basically need to get and now we need to just reset and we will just straight up reset the game there we go yeah there we go we got our bottle we got our bug net achievement we got that one now now we're good get that one done and out of the way Okay, I think now we can head to the dungeon. I am not sure. I'm not sure what else we could do right now, other than go to the dungeon. Get the red, get a red, uh, no, that's not this one. It's Topo. Hold on, there may be something we could do. Spawn only in the Great Swamp area, link south of Link. The location of the swamp ruins. Stop spawning after you beat Aghanim. Okay. Right, by cutting grass right after the enemy lands from its jump. Okay. We'll try this. Give me a sec. How's it going, Hot Corn Dog? Getting achievements for Link to the Past. I need this guy out of here. 
So I need to take this guy and... Oh, I didn't do that right. Do that. Alright, take it, thief! Make Topo drop an item. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. And apparently this enemy leaves after you beat Aghanim. So when he jumps, just get rid of the grass underneath him, and then he'll just flop about to talk to him. Interesting. Yeah, how's it going, Hot Corn Dog? Let's see, I know there's bombable walls along the along the way. So we're going this way. There's like a decent amount you could do before the first dungeon. It's too bad we actually cannot. Uh... Ah, oh, dang it, I died. No fairies and bottles for me. And we can save and continue. That's right. Let's try that again. We're playing Fortnite as usual, because Overwatch feels... <laughs> And the new character uh, was turned from balance, like the beta, to another auto aim healer. So they made it to where you don't need to aim to heal now or something. Uh, how is that a problem? Or is there something I'm missing? I'm trying to think of what else you can oh, stupid crabs. I'm trying to think of what else you can do. Uh before the first dungeon. I know there's a bum old little wall on the other side of the lake, and that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to get to right now. But yeah, I know when we fight bosses, there's gonna be, like, special challenges. Be like, only beat this boss with only this item. And also all of them have a no-hit run sort of thing. But at this point, I'm just gonna charge up the spin attack. I'm ready to go. Because I don't like these guys. Don't know how I got through it the first time. With, like, no issues. Probably, probably fire requires, but they nerfed it. Yeah, get rid of you. All right, up here. Okay, now I need bombs. Primary fire requires, but they nerfed it to burst less bullets, and instead they buffed her homing rockets, which damages enemies and heals allies. Hmm. Her primary fire requires aim, but they nerfed it to use less bullets. Why? And we got the ice rod! You think it's an optional item. It isn't. It's mandatory. This is one of my issues with Link to the Past. That I like Link Between... I prefer Link to... Uh, Link Between Worlds more. Is that... I think this might be the only case. So this is like my only problem with it. But it requires an item to beat a boss that is not in a normal dungeon and you have to go hunting for it. They wanted to buff the, the homing rocket. So why nerf the normal attack? Would this character be too powerful if they didn't? Alright, so we got the ice rod. Not that it would... Not that I really need it right now, but we have it. But yeah, this is my only problem with Link to the Past. One of the bosses requires you to have the ice rod. But as you kind of saw, it's in a completely optional spot. That you don't even need to end up going to. But it's required. You need it. That's. I think that's my only problem. 
with this game. And if I remember correctly, there's like no hint to where the ice rod is. You just need to explore. Actually, wait a minute, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh wait, if one of the bosses that needs what I think it needs is in the dark world, we'll be fine. Actually, no, we won't be fine. Actually, thinking about it, there's probably gonna be a boss that we can't we might not be able to beat for one of the achievements unless we do another playthrough. Unless we do like a uh, save reset thing. We might have to. Beat me. Uh, that's kind of dumb. We'll get there when we get there. We'll do what we can. Alright, let's head to the dungeon. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Go in here. Hey, look, it's the old man. Indeed, I'm Sahasara, the village elder and the descendant of the seven wise men. Oh, really? Scott, I'm surprised a young man like you is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane. Not just anyone can use that weapon. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Kind of hilarious that you don't need three pendants in other games. Do you really want to find it? Yes, of course. Good, as a test, can you, re can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, I'll tell you more of legend and give you a magical artifact. Now go! Uh, reverse heals a lot. You have to land the full thing if you want to take advantage of your healing potential. Oh, it, oh that attack also heals as well. Okay. well. We're getting a bunch of rupees. Got more bombs. That'll help. I didn't... So, do does all of this character's attacks also heal allies? I think I didn't understand that. I thought, like, only the one did. <laughs> well, yeah, Juice, we managed to get all achievements done for Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and got that done yesterday. Actually, Superstar Saga was overall not that bad. The, uh, honestly, the hardest one was getting the probably the the uh, barrel mini game with 20 points. That one was the hardest one. And that that uh, achievement set only has like four missable ones, so it's not that bad. First major dungeon. I'm gonna double check achievements, but if I'm correct, we just kinda play this in like normal. Yeah, we play this like normal until the boss. Uh, her homing rockets and her burst pistol healing. Beta, her homing missiles were basically to heal your team quickly so they don't die immediately, but it never took them to full HP, basically heal them enough to find cover. Ah, I see. Or heal them enough so they can get closer to use your normal per, uh, burst pistol, right? I'm guessing the burst pistol heals more. Let's see, what can we find? We need to grab every treasure chest. It's 100 rupees. Yeah, once we get to the Dark World, we cannot beat any of the dungeons until after we save Zelda. But it does mean we need to go into every dungeon just to get the items. But I think that's like the only caveat in the Dark World for that case. I don't know. And again, there might be a boss where we need to grab the bottle and bug nets to beat a boss. 
but because of Ganon not requiring bottles, we would have to reset again, just so we don't have bottles and, uh, and, uh... Fine. Yeah, it's, it's weird. We'll see when we get there. Map. Oh yeah, uh, if there's enough time after we're done with this set, we may do a randomizer run before I take my break. But we'll see how long this actually takes. Because honestly, most Zelda games I typically just do a randomizer run. But now I found out about retro achievements, so that changes a lot of things now. But yeah, I, uh, another game I was considering instead was actually Donkey Kong Country. And I thought about it, and I was going through it. There's some average ones, and some ones where it's like, oh, get all the Kong letters in every level in the first world, or in each world in one session. Be like, okay, that's not too bad. But then, like, the final one is basically uh, a, the speed run one. I'm like, I don't know how good I am at that. So. Oh. And we get... And no, we, we need the big key. I keep forgetting you need the big key to open the chest out and the... You need it to open the chest and the boss door. I keep forgetting about that detail. With this game. play Link Between uh, this game or Link Between Worlds. I mean, this one's considered a classic, but I feel like some of you might not have played Link Between Worlds. I, I like the concept of Link Between Worlds where it's like, okay, you have the option to choose any dungeon you want. And there's no... Uh, Certain dungeons require the special item like normal, but you don't get them in the dungeon. You get them at Flavio? I forget his name. Flavi Flavio's shop or whatever his name was. And you, you either rent them out, and you can rent out every special item at the beginning of the game if you have the rupees. So it's a way for you to just choose any dungeon you want. Be like, okay, uh, I'm gonna go to the dungeon the Eastern Palace, so I need this item. There's the key. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised they haven't attempted that sort of uh, strategy again with Zelda. But maybe they don't need to. Could have been a one and done concept. Alright, we've opened all the treasure in the Eastern Palace. has been obtained. Open that up. Jump in here. Honestly, I'm dreading the the third boss. I'm dreading that one. That one's gonna take a while. Come on, open 
your eye. Open your eye. Key. I don't need the lamps. This way. Is this, wait, is this the way to the boss? Hold on. Yeah, this is the way to the boss. Let's go back down. What do we got in here? Rupee room! Yes! Max out on money! Jeez, you can easily get a lot of money at the beginning of the game. Crystal's the main healing she's got. The homie rockets have a 20 second cooldown. So the idea of the rockets were to just get some healing in immediately, just so they survive. And then if you could get close to them, you use your pistol to like fully heal them. That was the idea. Man, they're giving me a bunch of arrows, and we got the arrows in the dungeon. I wonder if we need to use that for the boss. Come on, in your eye. I wonder if we need to use arrows for the boss. One of the achievements, defeat the boss, or the, or the Red Armos Knight. Well, okay, defeat all the Armos Knights without being harmed, but we need to use the Boomerang. Apparently you can use the Boomerang. Oh. We're not at the boss room just yet. But yeah, a no-hit run of the boss. I think if we just get hit, we're better off just losing all of our health. I think that's the better strategy. Here I. Okay. Boomerang. Full health. Sure. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. Supposedly you're able to... I did not know you could use the boomerang. Don't get hit. And I got hit. Hmm. Is it better to try to do them in one go? Yeah, maybe it's better to try to do them both at the same time. Oh, also, oh, I hate that we have to start from the very beginning every time we die. Oh, well. I'm so used to Twilight Princess right now, where if you die to a boss, it just brings you back to right before the door. Uh, by the way, so, uh, the, uh, one thing that was happening right there was there was a leaderboard going where time limit is like, oh, let's see how fast you can beat the boss, and it goes on the leaderboard. You know. Actually, there's something I should double check about that achievement. Because it makes it sound like I only need the second part of the fight. Hold on a second. It says kill the Red Armos Knight with only the Boomerang. Did the entire fight with the Boomerang only... You only need to swap to the Boomerang to the last night. Oh, okay. 
it's not the whole fight with the boomerang, it's just the final one. Got it, okay. That fight could have gone a lot differently if I, you know, read it correctly. Uh, the buff the rocket ceiling. Uh, yeah, instructions misread, basically. Uh, so I guess they want her pistol to do more damage and less healing. When I hear support, I think the enabler who helps the team function, not do ever bound their own. Yeah. In a team-based game, you have your niches. If you want to go on the offensive, you play a different character. If you're going to be a support character, you're basically going to just help the rest of the team maybe deal some chip damage if you have a if you have a second. So buffing the support unit, it, especially if you buff it too, buff them too much, now what's the point of playing as other characters? That's a good point. Instructions were misread. Let's try this again. Okay, there's that. Here. Ah, uh, that, that goes a lot faster when you do it that way. Alright, now let's try it. The last one needs to be killed with only the boomerang. just take way more damage with, when you use bow and arrow. Okay, three. Three arrows. I'm assuming the red one gets goes back to full health or something. I really hope I didn't have to, like, time my Make sure I target one at a time, sort of thing. Okay, red one. Boomerang. Again, I didn't know you could go in with the boomerang. I guess as long as it's a ranged attack. takes a lot longer. <laughs> You'll die eventually. I still need to try to not get hit. Wow, how many hits does it take to kill him with the boomerang? I have never done it this way. I think there's plenty of reasons why most people don't. <laughs> we go finally wow on the leaderboards i'm 2123 gee why do you think i didn't get a higher ranking you won the pendant of courage take it to sahasara two pendants remain Gee, why, you know, I, I don't understand why no one else beats the boss with the boomerang. It is such a faster method. 
Like, that was the fastest time, uh, time I have ever killed the first boss. Took like two minutes. Pen of Courage. Three or four generations ago, an order, an order of knights protected the royalty of, of the Hylia. These knights of Hyrule were also guardians of the Pen of Courage. Fortunately, most of them were destroyed in the great war against the evil that took place when the Seven Wise Men created their seal. Among the descendants of the Knights of the Hyrule, a hero must appear. I see. Scott, I believe you. You should get the remaining pendants and carry this with you. This is a treasure passed down by the families of the Wise Men. I want you to have it. Make us this boots. A helpful item is hidden in the cave on the east side of the Lake Hylia. Get it. Oh. So he does tell you about the ice rod, kind of. I guess when I first played, I was just stupid. That makes more sense. Yeah, good thing we got the Pegasus boots. Okay, uh, we don't need that. Let me take a look around and see what we can get. We want to go to back, uh, back to Kakariko. Can't do that one. So rare bug to a merchant. We can't do that. Yeah, I guess we're just going back to Kakariko. Okay. Double checking. Yeah, we're good. One bus, one boss down. Many more to go. Right. I thought you had to defeat or catch the thief to get Pegasus boots, but I was confusing it with Link Between Worlds. You have to catch him to get the Pegasus boots because that's how he runs faster. Heal, I guess. Um, back to Kakariko, I guess. There's a few things we can do. We may play the money mini game. Or spend rupees to open this chest to get a reward. Uh, it's nice to have the Pegasus boots. <laughs> So nice. I know we can break some rocks, I believe. Or do we need the mitt? We might need the mitt. There's still no reason to go in that center area. We might as well play the minigame. Hey, 20 rupees! Sure. Open the chest. Oh, you got 50 rupees. How nice. I'm pretty sure he gives me a piece of heart. So we want to we do this. Open the chest. Oh, a single rupee. You suck. Try again next time, loser. Hey, you're going to pay me 20 rupees? No, what a, a single rupee. Wow, you suck at this. Try this again. Can something good? 50 rupees. Oh, you made your money back and then some. How nice of you. Why don't you try again and get a better prize? Gotcha addictions, am I right? 20 rupees? That's better. Is it, Wait, is it, all this is just money? Or is there a heart container here? I'm pretty sure there's a heart container here. Uh, maybe we'll come back later. Wait, can I do this now? I think we can. We might have needed the Pegasus boots. I don't care what they say. They hate their brothers and they hate each other. That's why they built the wall. All right. Can you reach the goal within 15 seconds? We'll give you something good. Go. Uh, yeah. 
Oh wait, go this way. 13 seconds. Some people did it in four seconds, I don't know how. I don't care, I got the piece of heart. Or is there something for uh, doing that at a way faster time? If there is, we can do, I think we can do that at any time. So I'm not that worried. Well, we got the piece of heart. That's all I really care about at the moment. We need to go in into the library. We'll get the book. We need that. The Book of Medora. Alright. Into... Kakariko, we shall catch the thief. And what does he give us? I forget. Why are you running away? Why are you running? Why are you running? I can't believe you caught me with your speed. It must have been, uh, it must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. You don't look like such a bad guy though. Anyway. Because you have such quick feet, it might be a good idea to run and bash into many things. For example, the trees in this village have many useful things hiding in their branches. Give it a try. That's all he does? Uh, no wonder it, it's a missable achievement. Hey look, a rupee. Alright, what else can we do? Okay, there's actually a couple things we can do. I could have done before, but... Go to the Mario portrait. To me, Hario. Because it's an H instead of an M, clearly. Alright. We could have done that before. But I'm done. Oh no, I'm being chased by, pe uh, by, a, by a knight. Don't care. Apparently there's something else we could do. Turn a cuckoo. No? Or is it a very specific cuckoo? Might be a very specific one. Apparently you can use this on a cuckoo. Wrong. I don't know why I went back in here. There is a house with a cuckoo in it. It might be this one. No, maybe not this one. Wasn't there was a house with like a single single cuckoo? That might be what I need. Was, which house was it? Was it this one? Yeah, it might have been this one. There we go. Cluck cluck. What? You turned me into a human? I can even speak? Ah, uh, it must be you who are always teasing my friends. The the weather cock the weather cock is always watching you harass them. Well, this human shape is uncomfortable for me. Ah, uh, I want to be a chicken again. I never knew about that. I did not know you could turn this uh, this cuckoo into a uh, human. I didn't know that was even possible. That's interesting. Uh, okay. I guess before we go to the desert, we are going to the Lost Woods to the the uh, the mini game to open the treasure chests. Not that one. Not that way. Take this path. And then after that, I think we can then safely go to the the second dungeon. Actually, I should grab this. First two dungeons don't seem that bad. It's it's that third dungeon that's gonna it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Because what's his name? Moldor? Oh no, you're stealing my stuff. Whatever shall I do? I don't 
don't remember where everything is. I know we could get the ocarina if we got the shovel, but I think that's later. Now, where's that minigame? Is it in here? Yes, let's play... Let's, let's, uh, you know, satiate my candling addiction. My gotcha addiction. And we get 300 rupees! Well, we made a profit. That's all I was he needed for. We're done here. Uh, let's see. And let's go to the desert palace. Alright. Let's go. That was simple. First try. If there's any other secrets, I am not sure... Uh, what else we can do right now. I feel like we've done most of that I can do. What's in here? Nothing. I mean, we, we turned the nice old lady into a fairy. We've turned a chicken into a human. Who knew you could do that with magic powder? All oh, right, okay. Yeah, we're not getting that piece of heart for a little while. There is a section of the game where we need to go through Ganon's tower. Not the final boss, just Ganon's tower. Uh, without the sword. Not just not using the sword, just not having the sword at all. And it has to be done in one run. Luckily, we should have, like, all of the heart containers for that. Come on. Second palace, where are you? Did, did I just take this bad path? No, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, we can't break that yet. I think after the next palace we can. Yeah, that's... Yeah, 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 we're gonna get a myth. And once we do that, we can then get the sword flippers. See, I'm already almost maxed out on rupees. And this game doesn't give you bigger wallets. Diagonally. You just gotta hope you run against a an edged wall. This guy's sign for achievements. Break it. You gotta do that before you get the bottle from him. Alright, made it in the desert. Sure, stupid mud, mud men. Actually, the vultures don't really do anything. Book Medora. To open the way forward, make your wish here, and it will be granted. Pray to your heart's content, Link. That will get you into the palace. And block your way out. You think it would just move the one? But no, it moves all of them, and now you can't get back. Alright, Dungeon 2. Again, the only thing that's, like, missable here is the boss fight. Both not getting hit and whatever the other challenge is. Actually, the second challenge is probably going to be a lot tougher. 
because the second challenge is, if I remember reading it correctly, it's uh, you have to kill the, the boss with using your bow and arrow. Then you have a limited amount. So if you run out, that's basically like, well, time to start over. Get, get good, scrub. I don't remember how, if we can upgrade our bow. I don't think we can, not yet. I think that's later. Also, yeah, we're gonna need to go into the Chris Houlihan room. I never have gone to it before, so I don't know how to actually do it. So, no, that's pointless. That is pointless. Oh my god. Sneezing. That's not good. That's gonna get annoying. Okay, let's see. We got, we got a key. And we can get all, every chest. That's not nice. So yeah, just keep playing. Oh, I went here too soon. Don't you just hate when you, like, know which way to go? Yeah, th thanks. Ugh. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. I don't know why I'm, like, attempting to fight these guys. The corndog streak continues. It does, really. How so? Let's go here. Alright, if we exit out this way, we have this exit, so this is how you would have to leave if you want to go do something else without you know, saving or whatever. Peace of heart! <laughs> I think that's the only thing we need out here. So I think we need to go back in. Yeah. We're gonna have to come back here later. Okay, let's light the lanterns. No? Never mind. Let's push one of these. That one. It is that one. Oh, all of that for a fairy. I so needed that. So this section was completely pointless. Well, piece of heart is always nice, I guess. We needed to go to the east side. Such a pointless room. Actually, there's a few of these rooms that seem pointless. Just to be dead ends. There we go. Way forward. We got the compass. Here. Oh no, cannons! We got the big key. Now we can go to the left side and open the chest. Wow. I forgot how short this, uh, this dungeon is. There isn't much to it. Chest. We get 
we get the the power glove. It's so bad. Now we can lift up rocks. Isn't that fun? Now we need to go outside and touch grass. Out. Luckily, it's, we don't need to, like... We don't need to do anything like beat the next dungeon. Uh, with... Without obtaining something. Tower para. Yeah, we're... Two of the dungeon. That's the one I push. Okay, there's an achievement in this room. Dodge these without standing in the doorway and getting hit. No, don't get hit. Don't be a scrub. Yeah, you could just stand in the doorway and just not get hit. That would work, but they specifically made it to where you can't do that for this achievement. Luckily, if you fail, you could just exit and go back in. But look, if you really just want to get past this, just stay, just stay in the doorway. Easy. Easy. Oh yeah, just leave and come back if you need to. Kill the enemies, I think that's all you can do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this one's light all the lanterns to open the door. Man, I really need to use my rupees on something. Yeah, this is gonna be somewhere. Is it in the pot or do we need to light all the lamps? Of course it's in the pot. There's no point in actually lighting the lamp. Alright. Okay. We'll just stand here and wait it out. These floating uh, these floating tiles will never hit me. I'm in the doorway. They can't do anything to me. I'm going in here with low health. Well, it just means that I I, I can't get hit. All right. So. Uh, doing all damage with arrows. So we gotta use our bow and arrow, and we cannot get hit. That's the plan. Oh, I better hold off. Yeah, I want to restock. There. Torches. Go. Boss room. Okay, don't get hit. Only arrows. Oh. <laughs> The rocks are diagonal. Oh. 
Oh, I almost got hit by that one. Close. And I got hit. Is it? Yeah, we'll just try to get it done in one go. Time to die. I wonder how many shots they take to actually kill. Link is like, I'm trying to do this in a unique way that no one else has done before. If I get hit once, that's it. Gan I, I can't be Ganon if I've gotten it hit before. I gotta go up to Ganon and be like, I have never been hit by any of your cronies. It's a power move. At least it's not like a no hit run in general. I would have failed that so many times. Oh, the pots didn't respawn, did they? These ones do. Uh, that's not enough. That is not enough. <laughs> they were still mid attack. Okay, I got I got restock on arrows. I don't know how many I need, but I need more. This is gonna be the most annoying part of this one, isn't it? Just restocking on arrows. It might be best to leave and come back in. It seemed like the pots just didn't respawn. Or respawn what was in there, I should say. It's fine. Maybe we can leave and go back in, because now we can explore the upper right with the mitt, with our glove. We'll come back later. I'll give the boss another go. If I could just restock on arrows. Just try the 21, see if that's enough. Okay. So maybe we'll wait. And I get hit immediately. Fine. We'll just die. We'll save and continue. We'll, uh, leave, and we should be able to do other things. So let's go ahead and just deal with this dungeon later. We have the mitt. We have the power glove. That's all I need. Can we do anything? You leave the palace of Yes, there is a way. There is a better way to do this. Yeah, it's better for us to leave. Yeah, we need to dodge better, Twink. That is for sure. 
to buy flippers and then go buy the arrow upgrades. That is exactly what we're doing. It is, it is the Book of Medora. With it, you can read the language of the Hylia people. Yeah, I kind of figured. How's it going, Twink? It's been a while. Currently playing with retro achievements, so that's why I'm trying to beat the boss with only bows and arrows. Got a piece of heart. That's nice. Well, let's, what's been going on? Oh, yeah. Time to head out and go get the flippers. Time to leave. We'll save that dungeon for later. Can I? There we go. I think we're just trying to get all this stuff? No? Maybe it's a specific one I need to steal from. Luckily, when we do this, we'll be able to get around. I a little bit better. Off to the top right. When do we get the shovel? You know what? We probably could have gotten the shovel already. Oh, maybe we did need to go into that center area. Let's see. We could go this way. There we go. Restock on heroes. Why did you come back? I killed you. I uh, bet Nintendo games don't have achievements after hearing that. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Let's be fair here. If Nintendo actually made the achievements, they wouldn't do this particular challenge. They wouldn't. It wouldn't be that complicated. This is what happens when fans are the ones that create achievements. They create some of the more annoying ones. Kind of like the uh, the final challenge is, uh, or one of the final ones that's technically missable, is uh, beat Ganon at the very end of the game without having any bottles. No bottles need... It, no, it's not that anything can be in the bottles, it's just you can't have any. No bottles on you. But let's be honest, like, most achievements that are official are usually not that bad. It's just this is what happens when fans are the ones that are like, hey, I think I can make a better set. Play some games for some stupid people. Yeah, not that uh, not that some can't just add stupid achievements. But they usually never go that far, usually. Nope. This way. Nope, that's a dead end. Is there a particular achievement you're thinking of, uh, Twink, in, like, in the official capacity? Yeah, Nintendo doesn't really do achievements. I, I don't even think, like, the next Switch or the next console is going to have anything like it. If they do achievements, it's usually in-game ones. What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? I want flippers. <laughs> but I don't just give flippers away for free. I sell them for 500 rupees a, a pair. What do you want? What do you do? Fine. Wow, one pair of flippers coming up. I'll give you a free bonus with your purchase. I'll let you use the magic waterways of the sea folk, which link lakes and rivers. When you see a whirlpool, dive into it. You never know where you'll surface. <laughs> now we can swim. There, that makes things a little easier. Nothing behind the waterfall. Okay, now we can go back to Lake Hylia. Wait, was there something behind this waterfall? Is it this one? 
Nope. There's there's something behind a waterfall. I forget which one. Come on, look down. I think. Isn't there a hurt piece here? I think I probably jumped down too soon. Yeah, you know what? I think I jumped down too soon for a hurt piece. You won again? Oh, yeah, you did. You did win the Battle Royale. <laughs> uh, Tales of Symphonia and Dark Cloud 2 have two of your least favorite trophies I've ever seen. Yeah, uh, I've actually completed the Tales of Symphonia 1 on uh, PS3. I completed that one. It basically requires you to play through the game five times. But then again, it's like... That one, I, don't, I feel like, is not as bad as you think, because if you're 100% in that game anyway, to get all the titles, you have to play the game that much anyway. So, I feel like that one isn't as bad as I you think it would be. Uh, but what about the Dark Cloud 2? Wait, Dark Cloud 2 has... Or is it like a retro achievement for Dark Cloud? Because I don't remember if Dark Cloud has any. Unless it's in-game. Is it an in-game achievement system for Dark Cloud? I haven't played that one. Oh, yeah, it's behind this waterfall. Has trophies on PS4 and PS5. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Mysterious Pong, won't you throw something in? I want to throw in... My... Shield. Play Dark Cloud 2. I want to play the dark, the two Dark Cloud games, but I haven't tried it yet. Did you drop this? Yes. You are an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. Yay! Get the red shield without buying it. Now we can block fireballs. Yeah, I actually almost considered picking up the first Dark Cloud like months ago when I when I was buying like some retro games, but I decided against it. I just decided to get some other stuff. Nothing nothing against Dark Cloud. I just decided to get some other games instead. Okay, so we got that. We can uh take this. Big fan of Dark Cloud 1. It's 20 bucks a PS4 or free on. I know it's free on it. I know a lot of things are free on it. But Dark Cloud is like 20 bucks for a physical copy anyway. It's actually not that spendy. Maybe even cheaper. Alright, Pond of Happiness! Throw, with, throw in some rupees. We became happier by one step. Do we need to leave the room? We need to leave the room. Because we are free. So, what is the achievement that for Dark Cloud 2 that's really annoying? So, I throw a few. Throw in 20. Happiness, uh, your total happiness is 40. You become happier by one step. For your reference today, you will have a little luck. We don't need to leave. We could just stand by the pond and the box will pop up in a few seconds. Oh, okay. Thank you. I thought you always had to leave. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought you had to leave and come back. We got great luck. So you're saying just stand here? Oh, okay. There we go. I tried moving forward a bit. We have good luck. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. Just takes a little bit. It's probably faster than leaving and coming back. I want to carry more arrows. We have 35 arrows as the max right now. Now do I have to leave and come back? Nope. Just keep going. We can throw in 50 rupees. Let's keep this going until we max out... Uh, well, not max out our arrows, but get everything we can with arrows. Right now. 
It's faster than leaving, but leaving feels faster since you're doing something, so it basically picked your poison. Yeah, one is actually faster. One makes you feel like it's going faster. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna max out what we can. I think we can get to 50 arrows. Is that the max... 50 arrows, or is it, like, higher? I forget. We don't need to upgrade bombs at the moment. I know that. Yeah, we can do one more. Yeah, Tweak, eventually we're gonna have to go into the Chris Huahan room. That is something we will have to do for achievement. I don't know how to get in there, so I'm gonna have to look up how uh, how we do it. There we go. That's the max I can do right now. Unless I find two more rupees. Carry 50s at the maximum. Sweet. That will help. can head back to the dungeon. Is it random where this takes you? Uh, no, it's always the same spot. Got it. Now, we could go under the bridge, but we don't want to do that, because that will give us a bottle, and I need to avoid bottles. that until second half. Oh, I didn't go in here. What was in here? Just shop. Okay. We don't need that. Oh, watch me die. Nope. Okay. What was in here? For oh, right. Another fortune teller. I forgot there were two. But yeah, uh, Twink, one of the achievements is gonna require us to make sure that Zelda is the first maiden we save in the Dark World. So basically, just go into every dungeon, get their, uh, item, and then leave. So that way we go- we can get to Turtle Rock. Apparently, there's some unique dialogue for doing it. Back to the desert, because I think we've done everything we can do right now. Wait, one of these is a hidden pathway. I think it's the bottom one. Yeah, it is the bottom one. There we go. It's this one. What was down here? Ah, uh, check it out! The cave east of Lake Hylia. Strange and wonderful things live in it. Just a little hint and a lots of money. Alright. Well, I restocked on money. I could get more arrows if needed. Wait, did I go in here? I don't remember. Okay, yeah. Let's heal up, I guess. Perfect. Now let's try the boss again. And now that I have 50 arrows, I could play it a little bit more safe. <laughs> yeah, the Tales of Symphonia just basically means, play, especially the PS3 version, play the game five times. Let's hope you, you know what you're doing. I've actually completed that one, though. <coughs> no. <coughs> Water <coughs> went, uh, 
and down the wrong pipe right there. <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> Try it again. Oh no. <coughs> Alright. Guess we just watch me waterboard myself for a second right there. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Um, <clears throat> are we able to go to the Tower of Hair? <clears throat> Tower of Hair right now? Or do we have to beat the second dungeon? Cause I, f I forget what they I forget what they want you to do. Cause maybe we could go to the Tower of Hera, but I don't really know how that would help me right now. I'm pretty sure, like, we just need to get this done. I don't think the shield is gonna make things better for this fight. It's not like it could block, block the blocks. But hey, it's more defense, I guess. Wait, could we get a uh, armor upgrade now? Or is that second half? It might be second half. Magic. Okay. Don't get hit. <clears throat> we have 50 arrows to use. So play carefully. That's nice. Good. Oof. It's time, but okay, it's fine. We're doing we're doing okay. More rocks. We killed him without taking damage. We killed him with arrows. Second dungeon done. We just needed to leave and get 50 arrows. Okay, now we can go to uh, the next dungeon. Is there anything else we can do before doing that? Um... Uh, 
Oh, we probably could have gotten the magic boomerang at the si Oh, okay, hold on. I guess there's like one thing we could do. I, I think at the same place where we got the shield upgrade, I could have gotten the boomerang upgrade. I don't have this game completely memorized on where you get everything. And sometimes I just get it confused with Link Between Worlds. Yeah. It's not that bad, and I used, like... Actually, I didn't even use 30 arrows. And that's what you start with, I think. So, I could have done it without the arrows upgrades. I just played a little bit better right here. Actually, it might be faster if we do this. Take this warp. I forget where it goes. Come on. Let me in. Uh, yeah, this is better. This is better. Let's just keep swimming. Let me, let me move. We're getting a decent amount of achievements right now, but we're not even at the second half. We're not even at the Tower of Hera. Is there something here? No. We gotta take the normal path. I, I think I'm thinking of the right fairy to upgrade our boomerang. Then I think we could go to, uh, to up Death Mountain. I get... I, what was here? I didn't check this area. Is it just rupees? What do we got? Okay, no, just a fairy to heal. That's all this was. Oops. Oh well. This path to the other side. I feel like the next boss is going to be difficult. Because not, not only do we have to do a no-hit run, we also need to kill it within 20 seconds. And remember, this is a boss where it can just knock you off the stage. Too bad, gotta start over. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Honestly, the third boss is like the dread of my playthroughs every time I play this game. Yeah, go back in here, because I could have done this. something in. We want that, not that. <laughs> yeah, I did drop it. I'll give it back to you. Don't drop it again. Do we just stand here kind of like the other one? Or do we? Oh, huh? yep. Yeah, okay. You just stand there. Boomerang. Although with the room this small, it might have been faster to leave and come back in. I don't know. Yeah, I did drop this. You're an honest person. I'll give you something better. I should have done this earlier. It's too bad we couldn't have the magical boomerang for the first boss. It, I don't think it would have gotten a power boost, but it definitely would have had more range. Alright, what's faster? I think just taking this path. Actually, you know what? There's something I want to check. Maybe I'm thinking of step two before doing step three, but... Or whatever. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong order. Oh, and we can also upgrade our bombs, I guess. 50 arrows is probably more than enough of what we need right now. Let's go ahead and upgrade bombs at least once. We 
have good good luck. Is it is all the luck effect is item drops or something? Is that all it does? These. Yeah, we'll get more bombs this time. We could carry 15 bombs. It affects nothing? You know, with this whole luck system, you'd think it would actually do something. Was it supposed to do something? And they they just didn't program it, right? could have gotten the shovel a while ago, and I just was thinking of the wrong order. It's just a nod to the Japanese culture, apparently. Oh, when you go to the shrine and play, you get a note telling you the luck of the day. Yeah, I, I know about that. That's all it's really meant to reference. I don't know, I feel like if you're gonna have a luck system like this in a video game, you actually have it actually do something, but okay. That's all it is, that's all it is. Oh yeah, Twink, I already know that Dark Cloud 1 and 2 actually do have achievements through Retro Achievements. Or at least, I'm pretty sure they both have them right now. No, I was right. You come back here with the shovel. I thought he gives you the shovel. No, he gives you the ocarina. Who gives me the shovel? Maybe we can't get the shovel right now. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking too far ahead. I don't think there's anything else. I think we could just go to the Tower of Hera. Double check. I should refresh the page, that'll help. You reward for your honesty with a bottle of medicine of magic. Oh, so if you throw a bottle into the in the same fairy fountain, you get some magic in a bottle? Well, we can't do that right now. Luckily, it's not missable. Magic mirror. Yep, it seems like we just go to the tower. Okay. the tower. I don't think there's anything else we could do. Go look. Yeah, uh, go ahead and do what you need to do. Okay. Oh, you know what? They probably hold off on the shovel for a little bit. That way you have a... They probably hold off on the shovels, so that way you have to warp around with the whirlpools. Yeah. AKA me. <laughs> yeah, what are, uh, is it the sheer number of achievements? Because you should take a look at the Dragon Quest Eight one. Rather get the platinum, yeah. I, I, I can fully understand. I don't know who you are, but if you're going up the mountain, will you take me with you? I lost my lamp. The difficulty? Yeah, some of them kind of seem pretty difficult. I was actually consider, uh, considering doing uh, Donkey Kong Country instead of this. But there is one achievement in that one where it's basically just speedrun the game. <laughs> And I'm like, no, thanks, I'm good. Right. Uh, if you want to look at the achievements for this game, there's a link there. Turn right here. Someone use ours to send this blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
But yeah, sometimes it's just the sheer number of achievements that's like, okay, do we really need this many? The Sumerians are still alive somewhere. I believe the hero will rescue them. Wait, I wait for that day. Uh, these are dangerous times. I won't talk too much. Anyway, thank you for your kindness to an old man like me. I wanted to give you this if you wander into a magical transporter. Gaze into a mirror. You got the magic mirror. I... Uh, we can't really do... That's a way to jump to the entrance of a dungeon, that's for sure. The wizard has deceived the king, and now he's trying to open the way to the dark world. To complete your quest, you will need the moon pearl, which is in the tower at the top of the mountain. All I can do for you now is comfort your wariness. Come back here anytime. Oh, he does fully heal me. Let's see, was there something in here? I don't remember. And the pearl is in the Tower of Era. Where do you get the hammer? Is it in the Tower of Hera? Because I think we have to skip it for the boss. Because it says no hammer, but I don't know if that means don't use the hammer or don't have the hammer. And I haven't saved it in a little while. That goes back to Carmen Eco. Uh, what was down here? A sign of what's to come. Actually, if I save in a dungeon, I can start back in the dungeon, right? I may just do that. Man, Heart Corn Dog, you've been winning a lot of these battle royales. And we got a heal. Is that the only thing that's here? Yeah, I think I took the wrong path. Yeah, I think if I save in a dungeon, I and I reset the save. Yeah, sometimes that that is the case. Which one are you looking at? Dark Cloud one or two, or are you looking at a different game? Dark Cloud one. Okay. Can you give an example of uh, the RNG? Got an extra heart. Yeah, that's why you go on the yellow one first. Just leads back here anyway. And like, speaking of like retro achievements. Uh, there was a... I booted up Mega Man Anniversary Collection on the PS2 and for a little bit before like I was waiting for some other games to come in. So I was just killing time. A lot of the Mega Man ones are like beat the boss without getting hit or buster only. I was trying to double up on some of them. But my... I finished Mega Man 1. I managed to do that. But Mega Man 2? Oh, Mega Man 2. It's, it's Quick Man. Beating Quick Man with either Buster only or without getting hit is hard enough as is. I yeah, did this hard thing to get one of seven options as an outcome. You have no power over. Did this hard thing to get one of seven options as an outcome. You have no power over. Uh, so, like, can you redo that? hard thing to get the other options, or do you have to, like, save scum? Oh, you have to save scum. Okay. 
Oh, right, we need a Master Sword for this. It's a one-time thing, I see. Over to the right, we need the hammer? I think we need the hammer. Yeah, okay, we can't go here. Alright, Tower of Hera. I am making a save. I'm assuming... Oh. Mountain cave then. Oops. I guess I wasted time. I wanted to make sure I made a save before going in just in case. I mess up somewhere along the way. I guess the mountain cave just unlocked as soon as you bring the old man there. I could have saved some time. I'm trying to remember if the Dragon Quest VIII one had anything that was really annoying. Uh, they probably had some missables, but overall, like... It was just kind of, if you followed along, there wasn't really anything that bad. Eventually, it just requires grinding. Three, 853 achievements. Yep, like I said, when the fans are allowed to make their own achievement sets, most of the time it's the sheer number <laughs> that I have a problem with. Made it in. Let me double check. So Dark Cloud uh, Retro Achievement 100% win <laughs> for me. Who knows? Let's see. Tower of Hera. Defeat Moldurm at the Tower of Hera in 20 seconds. Must have the Fighter Sword, which I think that's the level 1 sword. Fighter Sword is level 1, I believe. Right. Level 2 is Master Sword. There's like tempered sword, golden sword. Yeah, so fighter sword. I don't know why it's specifying must have fighter sword. What, are you able to come back and refight him later? Or are you able to skip him? Like, I don't understand why it's missable. Uh, may not have hammer. So I need to not find it. saying anything about no one's saying anything about specifying if the hammer is actually we'll try to skip the hammer and to beat the boss Never... <laughs> I I can get I can get why I can get why you would you would not want to So yeah, I'm thinking through the Dragon Quest VIII one, and I don't remember if there was, like, that many mystical stuff. Like, if you just kind of followed the achievements along as you played the game, you could basically get everything. But that did, that, uh, the Dragon Quest VIII one basically had 300 achievements.
what do we got? got the map. We got one key. We could take the left door. That's the only door here. But yeah, I think it might be a bigger problem with like RPGs mostly. Especially if you're playing ones where it's like they're they might have a subset where it's like, oh, the Earthbound one has a subset where it's like, get all the rare item drops. Like, oh, no. <laughs> that just sounds like hell. But hey, people do it. There's an audience for it somewhere. There's a few Final Fantasy VI ones where it's low level ma uh, natural magic. There's also one where it's beat the beat Kefka with only Celeste, oh, Celeste, uh, Cypher, and, uh, no, not Cypher, Setzer, and Edgar. Don't recruit anyone else. Low level runs, uh, challenge runs, sometimes they're available. You don't get hurt by Boomerang. chests in here somewhere. The hammer is probably... Wait, okay. Is the moon pearl in the big chest or is the hammer in the big chest? I'm pretty sure it's the moon pearl. Hammer is in a different dungeon. Then why is the game telling me don't have the hammer? Moon Pearl is a big chest in the front, so... Can you just... Okay, can you constantly refight uh, this boss? Is that an option? Like, if I wanted to, I could come back to this dungeon and refight him again? Is that something that can be done? Achievement's like, oh, don't have the hammer when you can't even get the hammer. Unless it's one of those cases where it's like you can come back and refight it if you want. That would be the only explanation. Yes. The compass, not that it really matters because we only need one chest. Fight him there? Maybe that might be it. Yeah, that might be the case. I need to make sure. Flip. Ah, dang it. <laughs> yeah, we'll set the continue. There's no harm. Uh, 
going through pits. That's a sign of the boss fight. But yeah, you're right. Uh, Gans Tower does have a rematch. That's probably what it means. Make sure to take out in 20 seconds. Uh, without the hammer. Probably trying another way to specify that it needs to be this fight. It's probably like an extra check. There we go. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's not going to work for me. Uh, unless I flip the other switch. Can I make it? Yes. I know we have to land from above, so I think we need that foot. Okay, we made it back to the fifth floor. It only took ten years. We need to... Wait, are the red ones something you can't kill? You have to knock them down. Actually, they, they seem like they take damage. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I'm bad at this. <laughs> You don't need to beat the boss to get the move. Come on, get out of here. You know what? If we fail to beat the boss, I think we could just fall off the edge. Or even if we beat the boss, but we fail within the 20 seconds, we could just fall off the edge. And then retry. This might be the easiest boss to try to retry on. just refusing to give me. Actually, can we take the top left right here? Does that let me fall into the... Yes. This is where I wanted to go as well. It's all the way down to the fairy room. Yeah, we got some health. There we go, got rid of you. 
just keep going with these guys. Alright. Now, is there a way to flip this? Yes. That's me being dumb. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Alright. Let's take a look. We need to fall here. Yes. There's the moon pearl. Alright. Now we can go fight Mulder. And beat him without getting hit. Ugh. That's gonna be annoying. getting hit in 20 seconds. It's 20 seconds as soon as we land in the arena. Alright. I think we want to wait for him to... Get close? No? He's despawned? Fine. Well, we didn't, we didn't get hit. Or we did get hit. See if we can do that. Nope, didn't get it. I think we, if I want to flip the switch, I need to go down to the lower floor. Can I just keep going to the fairy room, or did I just use it up? I would have to respawn the fairies by leaving and coming back. Switch. Oh, of course these guys respawn now. Why wouldn't they? Check something. Defeat Moldorm within 20 seconds. It says nothing about acquiring the pendant. So, I think. Right. The worst part is each time you follow, he gets his health back. I know. This is the worst boss. I got hit. <laughs> and I fell. And also, don't fall into the middle one. Don't do it. You'll have to go up two floors just to get back to the boss fight. Actually, hey, can you, can you do that? Nope. Why'd you drop arrows then? Okay, you can kill him with the sword. It just takes forever. Can't get hit anyway. Attempt number three. Can I do it? Two. Nope. Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Let's see if I can get the 20 seconds. Never mind. Ah, uh, this fight sucks. Round four. And... He's gonna be an ass. Okay. Oh no, I fell in the middle one. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yep, 
Yeah, that was the fastest loss so far. If only the speed one was about how fast you can lose against Moldor. There is a leaderboard on how fast you can beat the losses. If that if you care about that. I don't, but that is something you can do. You gotta head out? Well, have a good day. Have a good rest of your day. I will try my best to defeat Moldor. missed out. Alright. I lost the time limit and the guinea hit one. Let's try it again. And I got hit. And of course I fall in the middle. This is easily the worst fight. Easily the worst fight. I'm pretty sure even speedrunners have trouble with this fight because it's like something you can't really manipulate. Again! Bash my head against this wall. Even if I wasn't doing any sort of challenge. Like, this is still a pretty hard fight. And I got hit. Again! Just get hit, gets hit immediately. Okay, restock on that. I'm right now of hearts to replenish. Makes me wonder if I can use the fairies again. <sighs> you see that? As soon as I landed, I get hit. You gotta be careful. Don't you just hate that? Just start the fight, bam, you're hit. Nothing you can do about it. You should have timed it better, idiot. Oh, this fight's the worst. This fight is the worst. I should have saw that coming. I should have saw that coming. Can I get more hearts? No, I used up the supply. Well, there's one. I'm gonna have to see if I can go to the ferry. And even if I can't, maybe going down the, the floors that many times will uh, reset the pots. Oh, um, really? Just that quickly. Fine. Let's see if I can go back here. This is the worst. I knew this one was going to take me forever. Oh, good. That's one way to get more health. And the enemies haven't respawned, so... 
Hmm. Again. Come on, I didn't even get freaking and I even fall in the middle hole. Ah, this is the worst. Okay, that was me being impatient. Oh well, it's fine. I guess falling in the middle hole might reset all the enemies and maybe even the pots. Let's go. Get away from here. Again, I'm not sure if I have. You know what? Based on the other achievements, they didn't proc until I got the. Until I got the pendant, so I think I do have to do this at the same time. This might have to just be like the start of next stream. Just work on Mulder? Are you. Mm. Really? Just like, no, 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 no. no. I'm gonna head towards you now and force you to get hit. I think I might need to die to reset all the pots. fairy. This is so dumb. I could use the magic mirror to go to the entrance. Oh, I could just keep using the fairy. That works too. Alright. It's just a matter of time, I guess. I thought this one was a sadist masochist. Either way, maybe both. Uh, I hate this fight. This Moldorm fight is gonna take five streams. Remember, no getting hit. It's not like I can't have bottles anyway for fairies. So. <coughs> it's just like, nope, get out of here. The only benefit for this is if you fail either the achievements you could just leave. But at the same time, that is also the downfall of why this is annoying, because you just get knocked off. Okay, whose idea was it with this boss fight? Was it Miyamoto? Was it Miyamoto's idea? This is one of his worst. Whoever's idea was this should be fired. Okay. 
Yeah, I think the achievements proc when you uh, get the pendant, so I need to do them at the same time. There is no other way to beat this fight, is there? Nothing else helps. Just your... your skills. If you call this skill... There's no way to tell which way he's about to turn. He just kind of moves where he wants. Freaking platform. Let's see how much patience I have for this boss fight right now. The knockback is insane. One sword slide got me from like the center of the platform all the way to the edge. my head against this wall. Oh, that was close. Are you kidding me? Fine, whatever. I'm gonna have to go get a fairy again here soon. Probably after this attempt. Oh, come on. I didn't even get the first hit. That should have counted. I'm trying to get a fairy and fully heal. one that we're going to be doing. I know I keep saying the same thing, but this boss sucks. Alright. Round a thousand. Two. Are you... Mm. He just kind of turned where, when he wanted to. I thought I was safe, but no, he just decides he wants to turn. I kind of wish he just kind of, like, bumps into a wall, and that's when he turns, but no. He's just like, nah, I'm turning now. It's not safe. It's not safe. Still not safe. Look at this. He won't even let me in the arena. seconds. And notice how the other thing didn't proc yet. That was so close. Uh, okay. 
just somehow respawns. The edge. Okay. I got the no hit run. I just didn't get the 20 seconds. I don't know how you're supposed to do this like quickly. Okay. I mean, I could try a spin attack, but like. Good luck without getting hit. Maybe I can get one in. No, never mind. I just get hit immediately. He was like, nope. No spin attack for you. Try it again. Well, there's one. Okay, hold on. I hit him with the spin attack once, that's two. I want to see. Three. Four? Five? No matter what, it's six. It's six no matter what you do. So who can The spin attack doesn't deal more damage to him. That's annoying. I need to heal. It's just about hitting him a certain amount of times. Not about the damage you deal. Try again. Bash my head against this wall. He doesn't want me to jump in. He's camping. I knew that one was a fail anyway. It was taking too long to get my second hit in there. Moldorm's here has my attention. There's one. There's two. There's three. I wouldn't have made the time. I wouldn't have made the time limit. Has to be 20 seconds, not 30. No, no, that would be too easy. Not even 25 seconds. No, it has to be 20. Oh. One. <laughs> 
Time to get another fairy. there's going to be any fight that's going to take longer than this. was three. That should have been three. I swear. That should have been three. Sometimes it feels like I should have hit it. But no, the game's like, no, no, not today. One. the most ideal first hit, though. Because we jump right down and get, get a sword slap, uh, slash in there. Let's see. It's just like, nope, try again. None of that. Not even a single hit. I'm not even keeping track of how many attempts this is taking me. One more attempt and then I need a fairy. I don't know if there's another heart piece I could get. I don't even know how many I have at the moment. Stop camping. It's not like getting more heart containers will really, really do anything. All it would do is just save me, uh, like, a, an extra attempt at, you know, extra run to the fairy. Taking that win, but then die or just reset so that way it didn't save, but I kept my achievement. So that way, the only thing left was the time trial one. I could have done that, so then I could have gotten the hit as long as I just beat in 20 seconds. Oh well. You're trying to be kidding me. I don't know how much more we're gonna do. 
Again, as we kind of saw with the spin attack, that's not going to change anything. Whether it's spin attack or dash. It's best to do this when I have two hearts, because sometimes he could snipe you twice, so... I mean, you, I could do one more attempt. Here we go again. That was close. That was so close. Almost had that one. Oh. Mm. I thought, no, he just kind of moves where he wants. Just moves where he wants. Are you mm -hmm. fine? Not even a single one. Try again. Something like this would just be how, like, a Dark Souls run would go. Except it's not about not getting his, just, like, not being good. Oh, he was waiting for me. Did you see that? He just gunned right for me. I'll get my healing in. hilarious that all the pots are lined up exactly. Alright. What's the purpose of that basement for if the only way to get there is to drop down? Two. It's been a while since we fell through the middle. 
So far, that's not an issue. I was gonna say, how did that red one fall in the middle right there earlier? But he must have hit the bumper. That was a bit unfortunate. Some fall down on some, but usually they're pretty good at catching themselves. See that? It's just like, nah, you're going off the edge. It's like an arcade fighting game. They just read your inputs. is me being dumb. I didn't even get hit there. That was just me walking in off the edge. Uh, again. Man, if I was keeping track, I could have had a counter specifically how many times we fight Moldor. <laughs> Not moving. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, are you kidding me? I almost had it. Almost had it. So close. It's so far. One away, and I would have had it. Nope, never mind. Moldern's like, not this time. You fail. I'm gonna camp. Make sure you're not allowed to jump in without getting hit. Again, bash the bash our heads against this wall. One. Just one. All right, let's grab a fairy. I could have picked a randomizer, but no. I'm just like, nah, let's go with retro achievements. That would be better. Again. in time just to try to camp me. Why didn't I move? I 
probably could have had that. Probably could have had that. So, camping. Again, I have come to bargain. I almost jumped in just to get sniped. Okay. Another attempt. Just sniping me, okay. Another set of fairies. And I think I only have enough for... I only have enough patience for one more set. I'll keep going until I fully die after this fairy set. And then we'll spend three hours just trying to do this tomorrow, next time. Because that'll be fun, right? Right. That's fun, right? Alright. Full, full set of attempts. Let's go! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, dang it! I almost had it. I I had like five seconds to get that, but no, I, f I failed. He moved too fast. I didn't get him. And sometimes I also wasn't even facing the right direction. One. Fine. Be that way. Uh, keep going until I die. Attempts like that. Alright, let's go. One. knocks me in the middle. Even knocked me in the middle one. Okay. A few more attempts. Five. 
Six. I did it. We got the time travel one. And we get the one without getting hit. So it turns out the time trial one, you can proc it without getting the pendant. So what might not be the worst idea is keep trying even if you get hit to get the time trial one done. And then once you complete that, leave the fight. All right. That's all I have time for. Um, let's go ahead and, you know, I'm going to hit save and quit. Let's look at the achievements I managed to get for today. Alright, are we good? We're at the top. Alright. We got the lamp. We obtained the sword and shield. We saved Princess Zelda from the and brought her to the sanctuary. We got bombs. We temporarily got the bottle and the bug net, as well as it was, uh, turned the old lady into a fairy and put her in a bottle. Uh, okay. Hold the, the Mario portrait to get some rupees. Attack Kukos until they go to Friends League. Uh, take and break the Mute Man sign. Make Topo drop an item, that's the jumping enemies. Put the fish back in water. Sell a fish to a merchant. Get the magic powder. Turn a cuckoo into a woman with the magic powder and see what she has to say. Get the ice rod. Open every treasure chest in the Eastern Palace. Kill the red Armos Knight. The final one with only the boomerang. Beat the Armos Knights without getting hit. Get the Pendant of Courage. Get the Burk of uh, Mudora. Catch the Running Man in Kakariko Village. It's missable. Uh, win 300 rupees in the Lost Woods treasure chest gambling game. Get all the chests in the Desert Palace. Uh, don't take damage from the flying tiles. I guess it doesn't matter which one it, it is. Just don't stay in the doorway. Don't use the cape. Don't use the cane of Bryna, whatever. Kill the second boss with only arrows. Kill the second boss without getting hit. Get the pendant power. Get the Zora Flippers, ma get the Magical Boomerang, upgrade your Fighter Shield without buying it to the Red Shield, get the Magic Mirror, open all chests in Tower of Hera, defeat Moldurm in 20 seconds, defeat Moldurm without getting hit, get the power, get the Pendant of Wisdom. That is all that we have gotten today. That's actually a decent amount of achievements. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbox 64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Tomorrow, we get the Master Sword and continue on to Hyrule Castle. Have a good day. Later.